let's talk about representing sets. So I'm going to say a set of x, data definition, a set of x is a list of x's with no duplicates. So empty, for example, is always a set of x, because there are no duplicates in empty. Let's write, I'm going to write a function called my member, huh, which takes an x and a set of x's, takes a sardine and a set of sardines, and gives you back a boolean, uh, depending on whether the x you give is in the list. Okay, so we've already done this a few times, but let's uh, do it again. Define my member x locks. Okay. So uh, of the functions on page 302, which of those functions, if I wanted to use uh, one of those abstraction functions, which one might work here? Or map. Right. Or map. Right? I want to say, is there an element in locks which is equal to x? Okay, so I'll define my member as local. Define is x. Define equal x, y as equal x, y. Okay, so this is... Uh, uh, let's see, actually, I don't want to do that. Let's call this other x. Okay, so this guy is a function that will take some other x and see if it is equal to the x that you're looking for. So now I can just say or map equal x locks. Now, you know, here we've given this a name, which it's, it's, it's okay because we're inside a local. But in fact, one of the nifty things is that you don't, we don't have to give a function a name. We can use this thing called lambda, which builds a function without giving it a name. So this is exactly the same function, it's exactly the same thing, except that instead of creating this function and giving it a name, equal x, huh, I've just said, yeah, you know, for each other x, ask whether it's equal to x. Same function. Okay, and I pass that function directly to or map. I didn't bother giving it a name first. Now that works just fine. Okay, let's try subset, huh? What's the definition of subset? How do we know when set one is a subset of set two? Okay, so you're asking whether every element of set one is an element of set two. Okay, good. Now, what abstraction of the ones we just talked about, what abstraction does that sound like? Um, if you can bring up set 1 and see uh, compared to all the elements in set 2, it will be the same. That's it. You've a you're asking whether, set, you said set 1 is a subset of set 2 if every element of set 1 is an element of set 2. You're asking a question about the elements of set one, right? What kind of question are you asking about the elements of set one? Your choices are 
map, fold R, filter, and map, and or map. So the first question is, what's the what is what kind of a value do you expect to get out? Right? What's what's going to be what's going to be the contract for boolean? Okay. Which of our abstraction functions of, of the uh, functions on page 302 that we showed just a minute ago, which of those produce booleans? Does a map produce a boolean? What does map produce? Somebody it produces a list of th of things. Okay, which which functions produce booleans? Let's go back and look. Okay, yeah, well, let's see. Fold R could produce a Boolean if you asked it nicely. Build list is never going to produce a Boolean. Filter is never going to produce a Boolean. Ah, here we go. And map and or map produce Booleans. Okay, so for subset, right, we ask the question. Is every element of set one an element of set two? Does that sound like an and map question or an or map question? An and map question. Excellent. And what is the question that we are asking of uh, each element in set one. Take a random element from set one. What question are you asking about it? Say again? Is it what? Is in what? Present. present, yes. Is it present where? In set two. Okay, good. So the question I want to ask is, is in set two of X, okay, right, that's the, right, so that's the question I want to ask. And now what I want to say is and map is in set two. And I want to ask that question about every element of set one. Nitesh. Where's Nitesh? Nitesh. So now all we have to do is define is in set two. How are we going to define is in set two? We can use an all map to take if x is in set two. Have you been awake for the last 10 minutes? Yes. Is the solution on the board? Say again? My member. My member. Yeah, we just did it. You don't have to think about it anymore. Right? That's the whole point of this game. Right? You do it once, and then you use it. And you don't have to think about it. Right? Make, it's all about making your life simple. I right, say my member x set 2. There. Okay. Oops. That was supposed to be there. Okay, good. Great. Now, how am I going to define set equal, huh? Aha, uh -huh. very good, right? So I already have all the tools that I need. I just say and subset huh, set one, set two. Subset huh, set two, set one. 
and we are good to go. Demetrius. Are we allowed to use one lender card without defining this in set two files? Ah, well, right. I'm uh, right. I can just. I, I could, of course, just use a lambda there. 